Folks, gather around for some down-home fun. It's the theme from After Drive. Somewhere there's a place we can all get away from the boss and the spouse and the stress of the day. A place we can go to forget about life for a while. Hey, but this ain't that place, this is just a TV show, a way to kill time at the end of the day. Oh, if you have big problems, please seek professional care. Cause this is After Drive, with Dennis Leary and Billy Kimball. Yeah, it's After Drive, and we're gonna talk about farmers and farming kickback. We'll find out farm facts that are truly alarming And after, after drive You just have to deal, you just have to deal You just have to deal With the rest of your life Hi friends, welcome to this special edition of After Drive dedicated to farmers and farming. Now I'd like to you ask you all to look around you. What do you see? For you, to you it's a television studio, to me it's a television studio. To a farmer this is land, okay? <laughs> One sixth of an acre to be exact. <laughs> One sixth of an acre that we can plant with all sorts of crops. Crops with which we could flood the market and cause serious damage to the agricultural economy. So that's why instead of planting something here today, I think we're going to not plant something. As some of you may know, the government will pay you rather handsomely not to plant your sixth of an acre. For instance, I could not plant potatoes here and make about $250. <laughs> for not planting cabbage, I'd make about $233. And for not planting tomatoes, a whopping 400 smackers. So the most money is by not planting tomatoes, but I hate cabbage, so I'm not going to plant cabbage in the studio. And take the two 233 bucks. So throughout the rest of the show, I want you to keep that in mind that I am busily not growing like so many of the nation's farmers and uh, making money as we do the rest of the show. In addition to not growing cabbage, we're going to be talking to a guy named Jim Surrey who grew up on a huge farm in Indiana and has all kind of weird, crazy farm tales. And also Edward and Robert Gancars, two farmers who grew the world's largest pumpkin, and we'll meet a real-life llama <laughs> farmer named Dirk Mills, and we'll be looking at some unusual vegetables. Dennis. Hey, Billy. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, Bill. Yeah. You want to see my hog? No, Dennis. I, I don't think I want to see your hog. All right. Forget it. Our first guest is 24 years old, stands nearly seven feet tall, and grew up on a 300-acre farm in southern Indiana. That's just about all you need to know about him. Please welcome Jim Surrey, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say? <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hello. Hi. Nice thing. Hey, Jim. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jim. So, Jim, uh, you want to see my hog? I don't think so. Oh, great. So, well, life on a farm isn't all it's cracked up to be, is it? Well, it's different than I think you're portraying it, but, uh, you know, there's all types of things that happen. What do you mean different from how we're portraying it? We're portraying it like fun and simple? Yeah, well, I mean, there's all sorts of things you can, uh, that can happen to you there, just like, say, in the city here, you know, it's not all just plain and simple, what, cut and What dried. are some of the hazards of farm life? Well, 